What's up, what's up, it's your man Jimmy Chan. All right, so here I have a bunch of natural logs, all right? And what I can see is that every single term has a log, has a natural log, which is great. And but here on the left side, I can see that I have a product rule. All right, so if I have a product rule here, so product rule, okay? So that is gonna change to ln of x minus 6 times x plus 1. And that's going to equal to ln of x minus 15. Well, what is the opposite operation of ln? Well, the rule is that if I have e raised to the ln of y, that's going to equal to y. There we go. All right, so E is it. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and let me duplicate this a little bit here. And what I'm gonna do is give it a little bit of space and bring this down. So I'm gonna do E raised to that power and E raised to that power, all right? Like so. So what I'm gonna have is X minus six times x plus 1 is equal to x minus 15. Ooh, that means on the left side, I actually have to FOIL. So I have x squared plus x minus 6x minus 6 is going to equal to x minus 15. Great. So if you notice, what do I have here, guys? I have a square term and an equal sign. So I should be thinking what? quadratic equations, okay? So that means I'm gonna get everything to one side and have a, and so I have a zero on the right side. So I'm gonna have x squared minus six x, and I'm gonna add the 15, so it's gonna be plus nine. So I'm gonna have what, x minus three, oopsies, times x minus 3 is equal to 0, so I have x is equal to 3. Well, we have a problem. Why is this a problem? Why is this a problem? So, if you look at the domain and the domain of LNs, of, or any kind of log, for, for that sake, any kind of logs, the graph looks something like this. Right? So it's always going to cross one zero, but if you notice that domain never gets to the negative side, right? So there's no, you can't take the natural log, the common log, or log base anything of a negative x value. And look at what happens. If I put the three in here, now I'm gonna take the natural log of a negative three. Or over here, I'm gonna take the natural log of negative nine. So that is no good. So I'm gonna to have to reject this. And I'm gonna go ahead and write an explanation here. Sense natural log of negative 3 and the natural log of negative 9 does not exist. Okay? So with that being said, I have no solution and that Ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be choice D. And there we go. Okay, let's try that again. And there we go. Hope that makes sense. Any questions, let me know. 